میں رہا جو جا that a lot of the things that are going on in our public discourse right now are a reaction to the browning of America. America is becoming more and more brown. We're getting more and more interracial marriages, such as my own. I'm married to somebody who's Hispanic. There's a lot of people that don't like that. Brown power is sort of a punch in the face to anyone who is trying to stop the browning of America, that no matter what you do, you won't be able to stop this. Uh, and this is the power that we have. It comes from our, our culture, it comes from our soul. When you talk about what do brown people of disparate cultures have in common, uh, there is certainly a nexus in terms of the fact that at some point our people have been disenfranchised. But I think also our music, uh, I think the concept of the blue note that as sung by the black man is also something that the brown man sings. When I say the blue note, I mean a note that is bent, that is bent out of shape. A straight note, just like, oh, 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 oh. that's a straight note. Oh, is a straight note. But a blue note is bent. Oh, okay. That's the blue note of a black man. The blue note of a brown man is, oh, oh, that instability in that noise, it doesn't quite sit in the, the center of the pitch. It, it kind of wavers, it kind of oscillates. It, it, it says so much to what we've had to go through and, and not being grounded one way or the other and having our rights taken away from us and having our land taken away from us, uh, being colonized, being enslaved. The blue note is very central to this song and very central to the aesthetics of this song. That has been an amazing journey to 
to learn that our cultures share that in, in common. These are all people who I personally felt represented brown power, uh, not just in the flesh, but also in, in their work. I think it's great that people draw comparisons with this and the black power movement. And uh, this is definitely uh, inspired by that. At some point or another, brown people all across the world uh, have been colonized, have been enslaved, have been disenfranchised. I think that that common strand of DNA, that common strand of a struggle is what we share. They shattered many a tribe of our brothers and sisters and dragged them across forsaken trails. They rounded up bare and shackled feet ashore to build this nation. They drew unseen lines to claim our land. But we have come so far. Our eyes have seen the sunken kingdoms of the past and the sky-high urban jungles of the future. Our ears have ached from the moaning, distressful cry of doomed souls. And now, in the darkest of night before the dawn, our souls are palpitating at this loud rumbling under our worn and weary feet. That boisterous shaking is none other than the electrifying current of what's to come next. We've been marching so long, wore our feet down to the bone, but we ain't tired, no, got so for miles, yeah, from Karachi to Michoacan, we come so far, yeah, we keep it loud, and we rising higher, yeah. There's a lot of music out there, a lot of art out there that titillates people's bodies but doesn't stir their souls. Um, and my 
sort of mantra has always been to, to stir people into thinking, into action, into empathy. Uh, and that's, that's what really uh, brings me to music.